Welcome back. It is Foodie Friday, and Tea on Fleek is here to share their iced tea with a handcrafted twist. Let's welcome in Kelly Mukawa. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Morning. Okay, let's talk about your business first. Tea on Fleek. You started it. Why? Um, I just really like love iced tea, and nowhere did it the way that I wanted or the way I liked it. So I started it, and I put myself out there and I made it the way I like it for mm -hmm. the public to try. Very nice. And of course, you brought so many handcrafted teas the, uh, in front of us. What kind of stuff do you have in front of us today? Um, so me, so right in front of me, I have a mango mojito and then I have a lychee, a lihing pineapple, aloha pog, and lily koi sunrise. Very cool stuff. And again, everything has hand garnishings on that. That's kind of what sets it apart from a lot of other teas yeah. that you might just buy somewhere else, correct? Yeah, it brings that um, really nice fresh element to all the teas. Okay, now one of the reasons as well, not to just talk about your great teas that we have you on, is there's a benefit coming up and you're going to do your part to help support us. T uh, tell us all about that. Sure, it's on um, Thursday, August 27th from 6 to 9 p.m. And the benefit calls for the um, Communities help in raising funds to purchase custom um, retail spaces or makers and tasters stations for pop up vendors like us yeah. to sell our products at the makers and tasters Kivalo locations. Yeah, and of course, uh, the makers and tasters, it, it's something that gives a lot of local businesses the opportunity to put themselves out there. What does that mean for you to be part of it? Because I know you're going to be one of the featured uh, vendors out there. Yeah, it gives us, um, us small business people a chance to go out there and meet the public and to serve them. Yeah, uh, real quick, I know we just had it, but let's, let's show the details one more time for the makers and tasters. Of course, this is uh, all part of the Eat the Street. Uh, that all begins August 28th. It's at Kiwala Harbor Waterfront. Uh, but of course, there is a benefit next week, Thursday, yeah. that'll help, again, raise money for local vendors in order to do their businesses. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.